Yes, I am aware this title might tick some people off. Anytime you even talk about anything wrong with the 30-06, people go <laughs> ballistic. But I think if you'll hear me out, there are some good reasons why, at least for me and the way that I shoot, I would much rather have a rifle in 300 Wisdom compared to the 30-06. And in this video, I'll explain why. So when most people think about ballistics, they think of it like a teeter-totter. And in a lot of ways, that's accurate. So when we look at a 300 Wisdom and a 30 6 they're both shooting the exact same 308 caliber bullets. I mean, you can fire the exact bullets out of both of them, right? Really, the difference is which container do we put the powder in, which is going to inform how much powder we can have. So the 300 Wisdom is a short action compared to the long action of the 30-06, but though it's a shorter case, it also can fit more powder and thus can fire the bullet faster. So let's get back to that teeter-totter. When we increase the speed, like the 300 Wisdom, it's about 200 feet per second faster, right? So we get some benefits. On the positive side, we're going to get less drop. You know, we're going to get a flatter trajectory. We're also going to get more power for hunting. And we're going to get less wind drift because the bullet is in the air for less time. But on the negative side of the teeter-totter, anytime you increase that speed, you also get the problems. The number one problem is greater recoil. But a secondary problem is less barrel life. We're just shooting a hotter load faster through that barrel. It's going to wear out the barrel a little bit faster. So it's easy to think, well, Jim, it doesn't matter the difference between a 300 Wisdom and a 30 6 You know, you pick which side of the teeter-totter you want to be on and call it a day. But it's not quite that simple. And I think this comparison between the 300 Wisdom and the 30 6 is a perfect way to understand how that teeter-totter isn't necessarily a correct way of thinking of this. So before we get too nerdy, we have to kind of talk about what these cartridges even are. So you all know the beloved 30-06. 30-06 was created in 1906. It has been used extensively as a military cartridge and, of course, in the hunting woods. It's the traditional long-action caliber. And if I measure it here, the case overall length is around 3.2 inches, depending, of course, on what bullet we select. But let's say we re-zero that, and now we come down to the 300 Wisdom. It is about 0.42 inches shorter, so about half an inch. And it fits in a standard short action. And that means that your rifle is generally going to weigh about three-tenths of a pound less. Now, for you mountain hunters, that's actually a very big deal. So that's the first point that we're going to put on the board. The 300 Wisdom is usually going to, to save you some rifle weight. And also, as you look at these cartridges, you can tell pretty obviously that the 300 Wisdom is a much more modern case design than the 30-06. The 30-06 is a long, slender powder column, has a very sloped shoulder, whereas the 300 Wisdom is a short, fat powder column with a much sharper shoulder. Now, some people, and this is maybe a point for the 30-06, will say if you have less steep of a shoulder angle, it generally can feed a little bit more reliably. I give that a maybe because it really just depends how the rifle is made. And now that we're seeing more and more and more cartridges made for steeper shoulder angles, and the manufacturer's not always customizing each rifle and magazine to the cartridge, you may eventually have a an advantage with a steep shoulder in feeding because that's what people are designing for. The manufacturers are designing for is sharper shoulders right now. But honestly, if we had to give a point, it's probably to the 30-06 for feeding. The 30-06 has been around for well over 100 years. It's everywhere. And some of you may not even be familiar with the 300 WSM. 
And so it can be easy to give a point to 30-06 for availability of ammunition, which we all know is very, very important. However, over the last two years, I've probably found more 300 wisdom ammo in the store than 30-06, because the 30-06 gets bought up so fast. Kind of just depends on what your local store seems to be getting in or not. So while availability, we have to give a point to the 30-06 because it's just so ubiquitous. I don't know how valid it really is because this two year long ammo shortage has showed us that sometimes shooting the very most popular cartridges isn't necessarily a good thing. So now I have to make good on two things that I said in the intro. The first thing is I said I would prefer to have a rifle in 300 WSM compared to the 30-06 and I need to explain why. And the second thing that I said is that the teeter-totter method isn't necessarily the best way to evaluate two cartridges in the same caliber. But first, let's look at that teeter-totter itself. So the 300 WSM has more power, there's a point. It has less drop, there's a point, and less wind drift, there's a point. But how much are we really talking about? The 300 WSM has 12 inches less drop at 500 yards compared to the Springfield. A lot of people say that drop doesn't really matter because we're all using range finders. I disagree. There have been so many times when I've been out shooting that I just can't get an accurate range. You know, you're shaky even if you're trying to support on something. Uh, it's far away and you, it's at the edge of a hill and you just can't tell, you know, the difference of 30, 40 yards depending on which where you range. And so I still think ballistics really, really matter and keeping a flat trajectory sometimes is a big advantage. If we're going to use this cartridge just for some long range shooting, not for hunting, you know, and that's really what we're looking at for this whole cartridge wars is one that's of course extremely versatile as a hunting cartridge, but also you can take out to the range and have some fun with and do some long range shooting on a Saturday as well. So at a thousand yards, the WSM is gonna have 15 inches less wind drift than the 30-06. That's pretty significant. 15 inches is often going to make a difference between a hit and a miss at that distance because nobody is perfect at calling wind. And then we've also got to talk about energy. It's going to have about 400 more foot pounds in the WSM compared to the 30 out 6 at 200 yards. 400 foot pounds is a lot. We also have to avoid some points on the 30 out 6 side for the negative side of the teeter totter. The 300 WSM has more recoil. Specifically, it's 26 foot pounds compared to 21 and 12.55 feet per second compared to 13.94. And so it's more, it's not a ton more. And frankly, if you put one in a rifle that did a little bit better with recoil compared to, one, to a rifle that did just slightly less, less well with recoil, you probably wouldn't feel any difference whatsoever. What I'm saying is the rifle design is gonna matter a lot more than that subtle of a change between the recoil numbers. And then barrel life, where we also have to award a point to the Springfield. However, both of these cartridges are getting over 2,000 shots before the barrel is, put, is shot out. And so at that point, I'm kind of fine with either one. So at this point, we look at the score and we say, okay, so now we know who wins this comparison, right? But not so quick. Remember some of those points in the 30-06, there were kind of caveats too, like availability where, but at the same time for the last two years, I've actually seen more 300 wisdom on the shelf. So that kind of negates it a little bit. Then you look at that barrel life again and it says, yeah, it does have more barrel life, but if both of them shoot at least 2000 shots, for most people, that's gonna be, that's not really a consideration. So those are some of the reasons why I am preferring the 300 WSM. But then let's look at some of the pros that we gave the 300 WSM and let's add a little bit of color to those. So we said the 300 WSM is 200 feet per second faster. That also impacts maximum effective range, which I will add a point to the 300 WSM for. So the 30 out six is obviously very powerful, very capable out to traditional hunting distances. 
but with ballistic range finders today, a lot of people are very capable of shooting 450, 500 yards, some of them much further that I start to wonder about. Uh, but those distances, a lot of people can shoot that very, very accurately. One knock on the 30-06 is if you're shooting those heavier projectiles, your bullet is gonna slow to under 2,000 feet per second at around 425 yards, while that just 200 feet per second advantage carries the maximum effective range of the 300 WSM out to 555 yards. And that's what I mean that the teeter-totter isn't necessarily accurate. You know, yes, you increase speed, and yes, that means we get worse on recoil. But if that little addition of speed can increase your maximum effective range a lot, because now the bullet isn't slowing down to under the range, under the spot where it would stop to expand reliably, suddenly it's a big advantage. So let's get to cartridge wars. We started with over 45 different cartridges. You guys cut some out for having too much recoil. You cut some out for not having enough power uh, to be able to hunt elk effectively. Both of these cartridges have survived that. And now we're in a bracket system. So I've tried to pair up the cartridges pretty fairly as we go. I lumped up a lot of the 6.5 Magnums because they're all just so similar. And we're going to go bracket style to find our winner. So the reason that I paired these two up is one, they're both very near the top of power and, and recoil in the, in the competition. And so now it is time for you guys to vote. But what I would say is this, I really want you guys to be open-minded as you're voting. A lot of people come into this and I just have seen so many comments, it's the 270, it's the 30-06, it's the whatever uh, that should win. I want you to really analyze all of these cartridges because it's totally possible that something a little bit non-traditional of a cartridge we may actually find to be just a better option. And so time for you guys to vote 30-06 versus 300 Wisdom. You already heard what I think, but what do you think? And that's what we're gonna go with in the competition, which cartridge is best.